This is Monopoly Hut number 15, Team of the Year edition. Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more Monopoly Hut, and uh, as I said before, Team of the Year is currently out. So looking here, we got a pretty good Team of the Year. 96 McDavid, 93 Marshan, 93 Rantanen, 93 Hedman, 93 Fox, and 93 Vasilevsky. Now, I don't have enough... Uh, stuff in my collection to make them so we're hoping to pull them we got a lot of catching up to do it's been a while since we recorded an episode of this we do have rival rewards not sure what we finished we get a prime pack absolutely garbage that's fine that's on me i didn't play too much so we're gonna go open up this prime pack and then we're gonna roll the dice for the first time uh we don't have enough for mckinnon yet we do need to upgrade mckinnon eventually but we don't have enough for him right now when it's the wrong thing um Prices of 87 overalls went up because team of the year, you need them for sets and stuff. So uh, imagine if we pull a team of the year in this prime pack. I don't know if it'll happen. Oh my God. Okay. We have an X Factor player. We're going to keep going. This is my first time pulling an X Factor player in a, in a random pack. So uh, very nice to see. We get an X Factor player. I wonder who it's going to be. We also pull Alexander Gorgiev. Connor McDavid, please and thank you. Okay, okay, I know this already. Krill Kaprizov, uh, not too bad, man. Um, okay, we're gonna throw him onto the team. That's actually huge. I think he gets up to a 92 right now, so that's pretty good, man. This is not, it's not a bad looking card. Uh, we got Bombarded, uh, Ch -ch Magician, uh, Distributor, which is huge. Okay, so hey, we will take a, a, a Kirill Kaprizov, man. I was not expecting that. Let's throw him onto the team. I do have a couple team updates I need to show you guys. So from the free Christmas cards, we ended up taking Dame Severson. I, I, I figured we need a better defenseman. He has some pretty good synergies too. So our top pairing is looking pretty good in Dame Severson and uh, Victor Hedman. Then we got Yossi and Seth Jones. And then we got uh, Pro Cop and Byron. Him. Uh, we now need to find a spot for Krill here. So I think in all honesty, he'd be getting rid of Nikita Kucherov here. Um, yeah, I mean, like, or no, he'd be getting rid of Brad Marshan, which is actually crazy to think. But I mean, we need to get him into the lineup so we can try and get him some goals to upgrade him. Uh, I don't know if I should be playing him on the fourth line. I might honestly slot him up to the second line for the time being uh, and hope that uh, Mitchie and uh, Matthews can uh, get him some goals here so the first two lines are looking good as per usual uh hopefully we can get some upgrades for kaprizov we owe uh connor a couple as well uh we could get him up to an 89 right now we also owe panarin an upgrade but it's getting pretty expensive to upgrade these players especially um you know we have no cards in this account with that being said it's time to roll the dice for the first time this episode we're hoping for something good i guess i mean some decent packs here so rolling for the first time this episode and we get a six. So six is two premium packs. Um, let's, all right. <laughs> Every time I roll premium packs on the board, I'm kind of just like, okay, it's kind of a waste of points, but uh, you never know, I guess. I don't know. So let's see what we can get here. It's going to be impossible to pull a team of the year yet, like regardless. And uh, premium packs definitely aren't going to help. So we get two of these, these bad boys. The good thing about these are is uh, we're, we're getting some gold players to help build some more power-up collectibles, essentially. That's about it. Um, but yeah, the first one was a dud. Second one we're going to skip because obviously we're not going to pull anything. It, it's pretty obvious here. Yep, nothing here. Two gold players, and that's about it. All right, it's time to hop into our first Rivals game of the week. Uh, I doubt we're going to place anything too good this week, but uh, like I said, uh, time to try to get Cappers off some upgrades here. And just quickly checking my notes here because I did write it down. We do owe Kyle Connor two upgrades. We owe Panarin one and we owe McKinnon one. So we got some catching up to do, um, which is going to be interesting. First game of the episode, 92 McKinnon, 94 Duchesne, 92 Eichel. He's got a very good team. This shall be interesting. All right, plain and simple. Let's try and go out there. Obviously get some wins. Um, try to get some more upgrades, even though we probably can't afford them. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we can do here. First game with Dame Severson too, by the way. I totally forgot about that. Uh, player switching is horrible. This game feels super delayed too. Not a good start. Good goal on him. I just couldn't get the player I wanted to get for some reason. So that's something. All right. Not the start we wanted, obviously, but it's fine. We're going to keep it going here. I got faith in this team. I got faith in myself. So let's go. Good hit from Matthews. Couldn't get the puck there. Dame Severson off to the races here. Oh, what a chop, dude. That was actually elite. Oh, there we go. Oh, my. What a poke. There we 
go. Nice move. Take a shot, Austin. Oh, dude, he just missed that top corner. Good save, Flurry. And I went to go play the puck, and he just poked it in. I'm I'm having a lot of fun so far. I'll be honest with you guys. Good start for me here. Good poke there. Still gets to his player, and they're giving him a penalty shot. What am I? What am I playing? I just want to enjoy this virtual hockey game. That's all I want to do. I just want to enjoy it. That's a penalty shot, apparently. I don't know about that game. I don't know about that. Let's try and save this. Eichel's wearing 89 for some reason. Nothing makes sense this game. Here we go. All right. I'm an elite goaltender, I've been told. Yep, very elite. Let's go. Well, Byram. Over to Panarin, Artemi. Artemi Panarin, that's a good poke. Nate Mack with the puck. Get it across. Kyle Connor, what a save, dude. Nice try. We're getting our chances. Over to Panarin, and there it is. That's another upgrade owed for Panarin when he does get one. It's a 2-1 hockey game. We've been dominating ever since that second goal he scored. Let's keep it going, boys. Connor with an assist as well there. End of two. It is 2-1. It's a pretty even game, to be fair. I thought I was playing a little bit better. I'm interested to see his team. 92 Ovi, 94 Duchesne, 93 Jai Seidel, 90 Lidstrom. This guy's got a very good team. I'm assuming that Koskinen is at 92. Very good team. It's going to be hard to beat. I forgot to check my ping after that period too, so that's that's good on me. And I don't know, Dame Severson's not having himself a great debut. He loses his man in Matthew Shane. It's a 3-1 hockey game. This guy's team's unreal, dude. Like, look at these cards, man. We're, we're, we're fine. We got to play better defensively, essentially. That's what's killing me right now. Kudrov, this should be a goal. Oh my god, what a save. There you go. Take it to the net. What a save. This Koskin is actually unreal. I cannot get one past him. Lucas Raymond. Over across. Bergeron. That's a goal. 3-2 hockey game. Good stuff. We're right back in it, boys. Right back in it. There you go. Connor Geeky's off to the races. Connor Geeky off the post. Kyle Connor. Nice little move. To the point. Hedman. Over to Severson and Dame Severson. I said he wasn't having a good debut. He pots one in, assisted from Hedman. That is an upgrade technically for Victor Hedman. 3-3 hockey game. Good stuff. Another assist for Kyle Connor. We're back in it. Tie game. Whew, fresh start. End of two. 3-3. Three, three. It, it is an even hockey game. We, we I, I can't I can't say anything else. Uh deserved goals for both sides, besides the one that he poked in, kinda. But yeah, okay. 20 minutes of hockey left. I feel like we've been playing pretty good offensively. We just got to clean up defensively and uh, the goals will come. No, no. Okay. Give me McKinnon. Like player switching is so bad. It's, it's, it's honestly player switching is so bad this year. I want to get name Mac. I can't get name Mac. Dry settle scores for him. 4-3 hockey game. This is where the frustration kicks in. Cause I feel like I could have prevented that goal. Both my defensemen went into the corner for some reason. And then player like switch into McKinnon just didn't work. 4-3 hockey game. Change it up. Because this line pissed me off. Seth Jones. Oh my god. Mitch Marner. Okay. Okay. Alright. 2-1-0 and nothing comes from it. That's... What an insane save. Oh, Hedman move out of the... Hedman... Hedman... Hedman sucks. Hedman at an 86? 85? Whatever it is? Sucks. He sucks. He, he just gets in the way. I, I couldn't move. 5-3 hockey game. I, 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 I wanted him ahead against the wall. I have Team of the Year Victor Hedman on my main account. He's unreal, but dude, if he's not a 93, like his card sucks. Like that's twice. Hedman's just gone into the corner and just screws me over. There we go. Four cop. Like he just like barely gets a hit in. Over cross. Kaprizov. Oh my God, what a save. A minute 24 to score two goals. We just got a power play. Uh, let's see what we can do here, man. I don't have high hopes. That's for sure. Over across. James Neal. Okay. A minute 18. A minute 18. I know I said James Neal sucked. That's a, that's a, that sucks. That's a good shot. It's a good shot. We got time. <sighs> Just over a minute to try and tie this up here. Let's go. Give me a timeout. My God, dude. My God. I can't believe. What's the ping for this game? Nice. This is, this, this is what I mean. This is the ping I've been playing on all game. Makes so much sense. Makes so much sense. I knew this game felt heavy from the moment I started playing. I knew it. All right, well, that's game. We lose a game on about 70 ping. Um, we scored four goals, so we should get a lot of rival points from it at least. That's one way to look at it. Uh, am I frustrated? 
yeah, 100% I'm frustrated. I, I feel like I shouldn't have lost that game. Uh, but again, the ping was the way it is. Looking at the stats, man, uh, you know, two more minutes, almost two more minutes more than him on time on attack. Doesn't mean much when you play bad defense, though, um, obviously. 5-4 loss. It is what it is. Uh, just kind of just degrading and frustrating, you know. We complete an objective here. Not sure what for. Three goals and rivals. Nice. We'll take that. Extra coins in the account to try to get us uh, an upgrade um, or to get that McKinnon. Uh, we do owe Panarin an extra upgrade as he uh, scored. And we also owe Victor Hedman an upgrade. Uh, which, you know, these guys are not going to get their upgrades for a, a little while here because I just don't have the funds in the collection. All right, after that loss, it's time to head back to the board. Last time we got a six. What will we roll this time? We got a four. So a four is three special packs. Okay. We get to generate a number three times, one to seven. Here we go. First one is a two. Second one is a six. Third one is a two. So we can't open up two twice, so we gotta generate it one more time. Give me a one, please. And we get a one. Okay, so a two is six and a one. So a six is NHL players pack. Two is a team of the year starter pack, which gets us a power up collectible and a team of the year collectible, and then a team of the year jumbo. So we'll start off with the NHL players pack. 10 items, all gold NHL players with at least 480 plus players. 8.8% chance at an 86 plus. Let's see what we can get here. We got Quinn Hughes and Kale McCarr on the cover here. Give me something big here. Come on. Halak, Yanni Gord, uh, Corpusalo, Matthew Barzello at an 84. That's not too bad. Jason Robertson. Okay. I have a feeling there's going to be nothing else possibly. And I was right. Dame Severson. So not a bad pack. 84 Barzell. Maybe we'll crack the team. I'm not 100% sure. A two is a team of the year starter pack. So this includes a power up collectible, a team of the year collectible, and a guaranteed 83 plus player. We get a 29% chance at an 86 plus. 1500 points down the drain. Give me something good here, EA. Who's going to be our 83 plus? There's a power up collectible. Love it. Uh, okay, here we go. Come on. Give me a purple pull in this pack here. Johnny Boychuk ain't it. That's for sure. There's our 83 plus. Linus Allmark. Appreciate that, EA. Awesome, man. Love it. Uh, so we're getting random packs as per usual. We get our team of the year collectible right there. And Sean Corelli, what an absolute garbage pack. And now we get a team of the year jumble pack. We get a 61% chance at an 86 plus player, a 12% chance at a 90 plus. 2k points. This has got to be a good pack for us, right? Team of the year jumble pack. Let's go. Mika's a Benajad, okay. Uh, Mackenzie Blackwood. So 283 is right there. Uh, Miro Heiskanen. Dude, we get like a... What was a 60 something percent chance at a, at a purple pull? Give me an 86 plus here. Drew Doughty at an 84. 86 overall Devin Taze. Man, you see that purple and you think that it's going to be a team of the year. It's an 86 Devin Taze. Uh, definitely, I think he might crack the team to be honest. So not a bad purple pull. 86 overall. Tim Stutzla. We still got half of this pack left. Wierenski, Marcus Foligno, Jackery Campbell, Jay Beagle, uh, Wayne the Train Simmons. Uh, Mike Smith, another purple. Base Marc-Andre Fleury. That doesn't really help us out there, but that's two purples in one pack. Uh, Thomas Hurdle, uh, Brandon Tanev. All right, Sorensen and Niemis. So not a bad pack. Two purples. Fleury, who won't make the team because we already have his 90. And then a Devin Taze that might make the team. And a Drew Doughty that might make the team. So uh, some pretty good packs. Uh, possibility that... Some of these guys make the team. Let's see what, what we can do with them. So sad to say, Bone Byram is definitely going to be coming out of the lineup here for Mr. Devin Taze. And then Devin Taze will be going on to the second uh, pairing with Seth Jones. So the defense is looking better. Drew Doughty's not going to make the right side of the defense. So that's okay there. And that's about it, dude. I don't think... We pulled another 84. Uh, Barzell, I don't think, will make the team. Um, and that's about it, man. So uh, that's the only upgrade we make. Out of those packs kind of sucks but it is okay we do have three uh power up collectibles though uh and i'm thinking i'm gonna give it to um victor headman he needs an upgrade man he felt horrible last game i think it makes sense we have three collectibles two of them will be going to mr victor headman so we are now even with headman getting an upgrade up to an 87 which is nice now as well rounded activated so it gives him plus two to endurance wrist shot power offensive awareness and defensive awareness so Card's looking better at an 87. Uh, let's see what we can do with this team. Second game of the episode, 90 McDavid, 89 Panarin, 89 Turcotte. This shall be another interesting one. Here we go, boys. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully get a W this game. That would be ideal. Our timing, here we go. 
Try to create something. Nice cut to the inside. Panarin with a shot. Oh my god, that almost trickled in there. Holy off the crossbar. Man, this 90 flurry. I don't think he's it, guys. I don't think he's it. I might have to put in base Vasilevsky back into the into the net there because uh, Flurry hasn't been the greatest for us. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Good poke from Hedman. Let's go, Ovi. Nice little stop up. We definitely got him there. Over to Victor Hedman. What a save from Vasilevsky. And a 1. 0-0 zero, zero game. Even game. I got to shoot more clearly. Three shots in one period. Definitely not, not great. You're fine, Connor. You're fine, Connor. Keep trucking. Out of boy. Around the neck, Kyle Connor. Oh, that would have been an upgrade too. Peaky. Ovi, over cross Kucherov. Okay, what a save. Apparently I took a penalty somewhere. I don't know where, that's a funny thing. I'm not sure where I took a penalty. I'm intrigued, I took a five minute penalty. So it's a hitting penalty. Where? That's a five minute major. This is where the game gets out of hand, eh? There you go, good way to get the puck out. Over cross and there it is, short handed goal. What a play. I don't know who carried that puck in. I think it was Seth Jones. Gets it over to Lucas Raymond. It was Seth Jones. And uh, it's a one nothing hockey game for us. Good shorthanded goal. Good hockey goal. Good stuff. And a two. It's one nothing us. We had a great five minute penalty kill in that second period, which led to a goal. We just got to play great defensively. We've been playing pretty decently defensively. Better than last game, at least. Got to keep it up here. This is what I mean by Marc-Andre Fleury. This is exactly what I mean. That is a that is a shot you need to save. I didn't say anything because there was I thought nothing was coming out of that. I gotta see this again. That is so bad. That is so bad. Yeah, we're getting rid of Fleury, guys. That is so like I need I need a save from my netminder there. Vasilevsky's getting the shot next uh next episode. Fleury's done. Like that is horrible. Not the way I wanted him to turn. He's still trucking though. What a shift from Hedman. Almost leads to a goal over across. No way, Lucas Raymond. There you go, Cooch. Lucas Raymond again. Over across to Cooch, and that's a goal. There it is. 2-1, 4-16 to go. We score good goals. Let's go. There you go, Lucas Raymond. Over across. Kucherov with another one. Bang. 3-1 hockey game. This is our game now. This is our game. Let's go. We run away with this now. What a, f what a goal. What a goal. He's pulling his goaltender. Interesting. And bang. Mitch from center ice makes it a 4-1 hockey game. G. Freaking G, baby. Let's go. Mitchy Marnes. Kaprizov getting his first point with the team. It's not an upgrade for him, but we'll take that. Pulling his goalie again. Lucas Raymond, we try going between the legs. Connor Geeky though, it's a 5-1 hockey game. It's definitely over now. Thank you, buddy. And that should be game 5-1. It's a victory. We go 1-1 one one this episode, which isn't too bad. Definitely a well-deserved game there. We score five goals. We get the win. Could have got the shutout if it wasn't for Fleury letting in that week one, but it is what it is. We're not complaining. We get the win. That's all that matters. We complete three objectives here. So that's going to push us over uh, 30K. We get a premium pack, so I don't know what we're going to get for that. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to buy a name Mac. Uh, I will check, but last time I checked, he was around 40k. So we're getting close to him, to be fair. Uh, anything in this pack here, James Reimer, and that's about it. Looking at Nathan McKinnon, 37k seems to be the cheapest. So we're about 7-ish k off of getting McKinnon, which is nice. So that'll get him up to an 88. Um, pretty good episode. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's Mopley Hut episode. If you guys enjoy it. Be sure to drop a like on it if you guys are new around here. Make sure to subscribe button down below. Um, and guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.